Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. This is 20 days of Christmas sewing, and this would be day eight. And today we're going to finish up how to put uh, photographs on fabric. So yesterday in part one, we coated the fabric with the solution, the bubble jet set, um, which if you go back one um, video, you'll see exactly how that's done. And then what I'm going to do now is iron it to freezer paper so that we can put it through the printer. So I have um, sheets of freezer paper, which is a little easier than um, cutting the roll, which I have done before. It is worth it to buy the freezer sheets. Um, I think these were, I don't know, this is 70 sheets and I, I don't think it was terrifically expensive. I think it was probably under $20, which still is a lot, but um, for something that convenient. Um, believe me, cutting freezer paper into letter size sheets is not, not very fun. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips that I learned. So one thing that I do is I, I mark with a Sharpie down one inch from the top of the freezer paper and over one inch. And then I try to line my design up there. And the reason that I do that is because if it's all the way at the top, sometimes the fabric will catch and it'll um, bunch up in the roller of the printer and um, it's kind of a mess. And I found that by just offsetting it a little bit, it really helped that situation. The other thing is that you want to make sure these are ironed down really flat and really well. Iron, you want to use a low setting, um, maybe just at the uh, highest of the warm settings. Um, turn off the steam because you don't want any steam um, on the paper. And um, I use my heat press. So if you're a crafter and have a heat press for vinyl projects, um, you can use that. I set my heat press at 290 and I do at least uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna um, take you over to my heat press now and um, show you um, just putting the fabric onto the paper. Sorry, you can probably see how messy my craft room is right now um, since I am sewing like crazy for Christmas. It's bad. Uh, if I did a 360 of this room, you wouldn't believe it. It's pretty bad right now. Um, anyway, what I do is I like to go ahead and just iron the fabric flat first. Just kind of make sure that there's no wrinkles in the fabric. And you could do this with your iron as well. And I've set to 290. Stuck. So I have it pretty well pressed. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place the corner of the fabric right where that tick mark is so that it's down a ways from the top. It does waste a little bit of paper, but on the other hand, it, it saves a lot of frustration. I'm going to go ahead and put a Teflon sheet over that so it doesn't stick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lower the presser and um, just go ahead. I, I always put 20 minutes. I mean, tw I always put 20 seconds. Um, it's way overkill. Um, you just want the temp to be low enough and just long enough to make sure it's really flat on the paper. Um, that's kind of a key to making this su print successfully. But you can do that with your iron as well. You can use a, um, a pressing cloth if you want to. All right. And yeah, you're doing it to the glossy side, just, you know, for FYI. All right, my fabric is on the paper. Now it ran over the paper a little bit, so I'm gonna trim that before we um, go over to the printer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim. just the part that's hanging off the paper. 
Because again, we want everything to be letter size when it goes through the printer. You get best results when you have exact letter size pieces. All right, so I have a letter size piece of freezer paper and I have my uh, fabric ironed to it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my photo prepped and you can do this in any program you like. Um, you can do it with your computer, Photoshop or whatever. I've done them in Photoshop, but to save time in this situation, I'm gonna go and try and do it in, in um, either Photoshop Express or Canva. Okay, so I found the photo I wanna use. I'm gonna use this picture of my mom. This is Dorothy. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. So that it'll fit on an ornament. And I want to make sure that it's about, I want to make sure that it's placed somewhere where it's in the middle of this photograph of this photo paper. So I found my photo that I want to use, that I want to print, and this is a picture of Dorothy, my mom. And I'm going to go ahead and print this picture. And so here I've printed the picture of Dorothy. All right. And after it's printed, now this is, I just ran this through the normal inkjet printer. Um, I would suggest though that you just feed one page at a time um, because it, they can get, um, you know, it's, it's different. It's not what as heavy as a printer's used to grabbing. So you want to make sure that you um, do it as easily as you can. And it went in this way. Um, should have really gone in this way, but um, uh, my little thing at the top really didn't do me any good. <laughs> but anyway, it turned out fine. So uh, next you're gonna let this dry for 24 hours before you touch it. And I'm, I'm gonna cheat today just so I can show you a special project. And this is not something that's going to get washed at all anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, but what you wanna do is dry this for 24 hours undisturbed, okay? And then once the 24 hours are up, just peel it off the freezer paper. And you have your photo on fabric, all right? And then what you wanna do is you wanna go back to the heat press or the iron and just um, iron it flat um, so that you're kind of heat setting that ink into the fabric. It's dried for 24 hours. You're gonna heat set it and then we'll be able to work with it. All right, so I have heat set it, and it's now what you wanna do is we wanna wash out the residue of the bubble jet set. So you wanna use a mild detergent. Now they do sell a bubble jet rinse, which you can buy. It's um, probably, it's about $11 a bottle, just like the other, um, but I found just a mild detergent. I use Woolite is what I use, any baby, uh, detergent or anything that's just really mild um, to just wash out that um, bubble jet set so that you have a nice supple um, fabric. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry after rinsing it out with Woolite and then I'm going to let it dry overnight and tomorrow I'm going to show you how to make a cute little ornament um, with a photo that you've printed. All right. And in the meantime, I'm also going to um, be uploading a video of how to take better holiday photos. As you know, I am a photographer. I ran my own business for 19 years, having to retire because of an injury, not because I didn't love it anymore. I still love it, um, but I'm physically unable to do it anymore. So I'm going to be giving you um, a workshop that I used to give clients called from fuzzy to fabulous, and it is how to take better pictures with any camera. And what I'm gonna do um, is just share that short version of that workshop with you. And um, that's gonna be the next video, which will probably also be uploaded today. With that, here are the steps again that we did today. We took our soaked fabric, we ironed it to freezer paper, making sure it's adhered really well with no edges pulling up, okay? And also just move it down on the paper just a little bit so that the printer grabs the right thing. 
And then you're also going to let that sit for 24 hours after you print it. Then you're going to peel it off the paper and you're going to rinse it out with either the bubble jet set rinse that you can purchase or a mild detergent. I have never bought the rinse. I use Woolite. So um, anything that's just a really mild detergent, anything you would use on a baby's clothes or something like that. Um, nothing that has a lot of stain removers or anything like that. So you just want to rinse it out and then you're going to let that dry and then you'll have a nice photo ready to do a project. Okay? All right, with that, I'm going to say Merry Christmas, Happy Sewing, and I'll see you in a little while.